Hello there. So in this video we're going to take a look at a dictionary and we're going to be working with our book catalog and we're going to make some changes to the book catalog program. So this is the starting program and it gives us a menu that allows us to see book information, add book information, edit and delete books and exit the program. So at the beginning we have a dictionary called Book Catalog and it has three records in it. Moby Dick with the author and publication year, The Hobbit, same thing, author pub publication year, and Slaughterhouse-Five. So we're starting with three items already in here and that's what we're going to work with in our trial run of this program. So again before you start working on any of these modifications for this activity we need to take a look and go through the code and make sure we understand what's happening. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to add a um, an option called list that will list all of the books in the catalog. So that's going to list every single record that we have created in the dictionary. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. Okay, so we've got um, show, add, edit, delete. Now, if I type in show, it's going to ask me for a title. And at first I, get, I got confused when I ran it because I was like, what, am, I, am I adding a book? What's going on? So because we don't have that list function, we don't even know what the books are. That's why I specifically went and looked for the books that were in here. So I'm going to oops, put in the title Moby Dick and now this has to match exactly what is in the dictionary already. So if you put in the title it will re it will search and return the title author and publication year for the show command. Now let's go ahead and do an add and um, I'm just going to add a book I don't even know the information here. Okay, by the power of the internet, I found out that it was 2008. So, Hunger Games was written by Suzanne Collins, publication year 2008. Now, again, it would be great if we could list the books that are in here so that I can confirm. There's not there's no confirmation that says this book was even added. So, I'm going to go ahead and type show and then see if Hunger Games is in here and it is so great. Now let's take a look and let's say I put in the Hunger Games. It's going to say hey that doesn't exist in the catalog. Um, if I type in show and put it in in lowercase it will not find a match either. So it's looking for the exact case sensitivity. So just remember that when you're working with your uh, data here. Okay so let's go ahead and edit Let's edit and um, let's let's edit the one we just input and it's going to say what do you want to enter edit the author name so sure I'll go ahead and just type S Collins 2008 now I'm going to do show again and you see that it made the change so that's good doesn't look like we can change the title though since it just gave me the option to input the author name or publication year okay then we've got delete so let's go ahead and delete our book and again make sure to type that in and now I'm going to type in show to make sure that it really is gone and it says it doesn't exist and then I'm going to exit okay so I have an idea what's going on here but let me look through the functions. So well, first let's start at the main. So here we go with our main function. The first thing it's going to do is call display menu and display menu is just going to print the different commands that you can do and then we're going to define the book catalog here with our three records and then while true we're going to ask for the command. So it's just going to keep going through this and then we have a, a nice if, elif, else system here that basically is going to um, identify the commands and call 
the functions. So if you take a look, we've got a function called show book and we're passing it the book catalog, which we know we're starting with three records. And then we have an add edit book, but look at this, we're calling it with two parameters. The first one is the book catalog, so the dictionary, and then we're sending a mode of add. Okay, so we're basically reusing this add edit book for the edit section. And in this case, we're sending it a mode of edit. So if we want to edit it and then delete, we're sending delete book, we're passing the dictionary. And then if we hit exit, we're not calling a function. We're just um, saying by and breaking the system, breaking out of the system. And then if we type in something else, it's going to give us a, um, a validation that says, hey, we don't know what you want us to do. All right, so we really only have three functions here. And let's look at the first one. So the very first one is show book and it's asking for the input of the title. And then we're doing an if to see if the title exists already in the dictionary. And if it does, we're basically storing that information. So we're passing it the title as kind of the key for that particular record. And then we are getting the information um, from the that record that we have put in. So we're getting um, the title because that's what we just input and then we're getting book which is that particular record. So we're getting the author field of the book and then the publication year of the book. If there is no match we're passing the message that hey this doesn't exist in the catalog. Okay so so far I think that's understandable. Now let's look at the add edit book because this is a little bit more complex because of that mode that we're passing it. So again, we're passing the dictionary and a mode. And again, we're asking for a title and it would be great to like edit these to say, you know, en enter title of book to add or <laughs> enter title of book to edit. Um, so here we're saying if the mode equals add and the title already exists in the book catalog, then we're going to check or we're going to print a message that says, hey, we already have this. Okay. Um, would you like to edit it? So if yes, then we're going to go, um, well, if the answer is not yes, we're going to return back to our command choices. If the mode is edit and title is not in the book catalog, then we're going to go ahead and um, would you like to add it? If response is not equal to yes, we're going to exit. For everything else, we're going to record in the inputs for the author and the publication year. And then we're going to create a dictionary for that particular record. Then we're going to add that record to the book catalog with title as the key again. So again, this is the most complicated part. And I think part of the reason this is so complicated is just because we're using those two separate modes, which really makes the complexity of this more hard to understand. Okay, so then our last thing is delete book. And again, we're going to ask for the title and we're going to check to see if that title exists. If it is, we're going to delete it and print a message that it was removed. If the title isn't found, then we're going to send a message that, hey, this isn't, this doesn't exist. Okay, so that is the gist of what is happening here. Now, our responsibility is to modify the book catalog so that it contains a list command. So basically all we're going to do is we're going to get the dictionary and we're going to go through every single record in the dictionary and output the title, the author and the publication year. Okay. So the very first thing that I think we should do is we're going to go ahead and add that list command and I would put it at the top because I think that's kind of the the most obvious thing is to list all books in the catalog. Okay, 
list all the books in the catalog. Now we're going to have to add that to our if statement. So we can just come down here. I like to keep this in the same order. So if command equals list, um, let's call this list books. And are we going to need to pass it the catalog? Yes, yes we are. So let's go ahead and pass it book catalog. Okay. Now it's going to give me a, an error because we haven't defined this yet. That's fine. Okay. So now since I'm putting this at the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and add my function at the beginning as well. So we're going to do list books book catalog and our colon. We're going to do an indentation since this is a function. Now what is the best way to go through every single record in this and that would be a for loop. So we're going to do for book in book catalog and another colon and an indentation. Then um, let's go ahead and print a blank line and then we'll print out our title. And the the book, which is our key, and then author, and then we're going to do book catalog with a square bracket for book and the field author. Sorry, I know I can't really see that. Okay, so there we go. Print author, book catalog, book and author. So again, this is following very much like what we're doing in the other, the show book, except we don't have a title that we're searching for. So therefore we're just going to, um, we're going to give it the book as the title that we're going to be processing through and it will change every time the loop goes through. Publication year and book catalog square bracket book and pub year. Okay. So that is pretty much all we want to do for the list books. Let's make sure everything looks right. I think I'm going to put one extra space in each of these. They line up nicely. Okay, everything looks good there. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out. Be clear. All right, so here is list. Let's go ahead and see if it works. Fingers crossed. And yes, that's always such a happy feeling when it works, right? So this is a list of all the books. We might want to put a little message here before we print out, you know, the, the book catalog contains, right? So let me add that, make that user experience. The book catalog contains, all right, let me try that again. Clear, run, list. There, I like that better. The book catalog contains, I might want to put a little space in there though. Um, so these three books, so let's go ahead and add. I'll go ahead and add my Hunger Games again. All right, and again, I think we should put some confirmation that that was added successfully. Let's go back to list and here we go. There is our working book dictionary. So hopefully that made sense. If not, stop, rewind the video and kind of walk through this one more time. Dictionaries are, are definitely a little bit more complex than lists, but they are basically getting us ready for working with databases, which we will be doing shortly. So thank you. Bye.